Hi Wanderers! Today's topic is on a folkloric legend. Uh, it stems off from rural parts of the south and that's in South America. I'm talking about Argentina. I was born in Canada but my family immigrated from Argentina. The legend I'm going to be talking about today is El Bombero or also known as El Bomberito. Basically the legend goes there's this little gnome and he wanders around parts of the forest and he's supposed to be uh, quite malicious so the story has it that when you walk through the forest in the rural parts of Argentina you'll hear a very faint whistle. The whistling is supposed to be the call from this gnome and you are warned that if you hear that sound that you should not whistle back. If you whistle back then it will begin to taunt you almost so instantly leaving that forest you're gonna hear a whistle back in response to your whistle and slowly slowly the whistling is gonna be continuous in your mind and slowly drive you mad and that's kind of like the idea of that story with the pounding heart how the murderer constantly hears the pounding of his victim's heart until he goes mad. My grandmother swears by it, my grandfather, you know, because he's so macho, he does not believe it at all. Uh, he actually went to a forest where people have reported in Argentina that they've heard the whistling sounds of El Bombero. He went there with his cousins back in the day and was like, oh, I'll show you guys. And uh, so he walked through there all macho with his stance and did not hear the whistle at all. Now, there are people that say that the whistling can only be heard by people that who can, who can receive that pitch. If you cannot hear that pitch, then simply you are not affected by it. But if you do hear that pitch, then do not whistle back. So within the YouTube video that I found online, it actually does catch footage of this bombero, bomberito, whatever they call it. And um, you kind of see it scouring within these little shrub roots close by a rural road. And as soon as it's seen, it's it's gone. So it kind of makes me wonder where this sort of stems off from because we do have garden gnomes. So if we have garden gnomes, then there must be some sort of connection made between these sorts of creatures that are, are, are deemed an urban legend. That sort of thing, I think its existence could be true at some point in time where it was more easily seen by the public because then why else would we have gnomes these little garden gnome things although there isn't too much depth and information into this video like my other one from bolt castle which i posted recently i hope that you enjoyed this video please subscribe become a wondrous creature also leave some comments below on any topics that you would be interested in for me to cover in terms of supernatural paranormal or folkloric tales uh, that you may be interested in hearing about. I hope you guys have a fabulous long weekend and a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, from my family to yours, see you later wanderers.